Hi, this is Mark from Productive Computing, and in this video I wanted to take a moment of your time to talk about something near and dear to our heart, which is FileMaker and QuickBooks integration. Perhaps one of the biggest things that we've done in the last several years as a company is to explore the idea of integrating QuickBooks and FileMaker, starting with both the QuickBooks for desktop as well as the QuickBooks online editions. So what we've done is created a course. In fact, we've actually created an entire university to bring some of that hard-earned knowledge and skill that we've grown over the years to you, the developer, who might want to take advantage of these same skills and benefit from that. So you might ask yourself, why learn QuickBooks integration? Well, first of all, QuickBooks is the number one small to medium business accounting software here in the US as such, we created a plugin called the FM Books Connector. This is a plugin that works with both the desktop version of QuickBooks as well as the online version. If you learn the skills, most of which are provided in this course, you'll increase your knowledge beyond just being a FileMaker developer. But you can call yourself a FileMaker developer with expertise in QuickBooks integration. And that is a whole other skill set that you can offer to your users and customers. Now, integration between FileMaker and QuickBooks may seem easy on paper, but in fact, there's a lot of refined skills that are necessary. We call those required foundations. First, you have to know about FileMaker. Integrating a plugin and an SDK of this magnitude requires at least an intermediate level of FileMaker skill. You have to understand how plugins work, and you have to understand how to use them in a robust workflow environment, such as integrating accounting with a database system such as FileMaker. Today, learning FileMaker is readily available. There are online courses and trainers and consultants all over the world that can provide this information. The second foundation is understanding basic accounting principles. Now, you don't have to be an accountant or CPA in order to integrate a plugin like this. However, you do need to know the basics. You need to know what an invoice is and how payments work and an invoice line item and some of those things that if you haven't been exposed to accounting at all, you will need to brush up on some of the basics. Learning basic accounting principles is actually also quite available. There are online courses for things like that, or you may already have this experience in running your own business if you're an independent developer or work for a company and have worked with the accounting department before. Then there's the foundation of understanding QuickBooks. Although you may understand accounting, you may not understand QuickBooks. The good news is QuickBooks is a fairly straightforward program. It's approachable by even the most novice user in terms of learning the basics. The course that we provide actually goes the extra step by having a few lessons that walk you through the entire QuickBooks interface so that you know where to go to find certain things that are going to be important for that integration strategy. The fourth pillar is understanding the FM Books Connector plugin itself. And that's where this course really shines. In the six hours that we've developed, we take you from A to Z learning everything from installing the plugin to registering it to connecting to QuickBooks for the first time to adding records and editing records to pulling information from QuickBooks and everything in between. The fifth foundation is understanding business workflow. For the most part, this is determined on a case by case basis when you're working directly with the user or your customer and you'll be working side by side with them to determine exactly how the information is to travel. And at what point do you make the distinction between what FileMaker is responsible for or what QuickBooks is responsible for? And then you can determine those connection points by either pushing or pulling data at the appropriate time. So as you can see here, it's more than just knowing FileMaker. There's a whole lot more to integrating QuickBooks in a professional manner. That's why we created Productive Computing University and our very first course called Connecting FileMaker to QuickBooks. We created the course because we believe training is best done by video. Although for years and years we've had written documentation and a few basic videos on how our demo works, we never really had comprehensive training on how to explore the QuickBooks API, how to make the calls, how to actually get results from A to Z, starting with nothing but a blinking cursor all the way to a full-fledged integration. Training by video is commonplace these days, and we wanted to provide a full-featured course so that people could get the most out of our plugin. By using this course to train our internal staff, we've developed the content in such a way that we're approaching it from both a new student perspective, someone who's never integrated with QuickBooks before or used our plugin, as well as a veteran perspective, developers that have been doing this five or more years 
who've seen every integration under the sun. So we feel that the content is appropriate and we've wanted to roll that experience into a university concept. You'll receive a certificate at the end so you can validate that you took the course and that you have a full understanding of our plugin and how to do integration with QuickBooks. And by making an investment in this course, you'll have access directly to the instructors as well as our key staff here to answer your questions and react to your feedback. Getting signed up is easy. All you have to do is visit ProductiveComputingUniversity.com and enroll in the Connect FileMaker to QuickBooks course. Currently, we have the desktop course available, and we're now working on the Connect FileMaker to QuickBooks for the online version of QuickBooks. So stay tuned for more. You'll also see other free courses available on the university, as well as other paid courses on content that we might feature. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.